Okay, this stretch of weather, yesterday and today, I'm sure you noticed, but in case you're wondering, we didn't break records, but we were about 12 to 15 degrees above average today for daytime highs. Looks real pretty out there right now. That's the view from the top of the Salesforce looking out over the Bay Bridge. That's the scene in San Jose where it was 71 degrees today, by the way. And if we get over into the Tri-Valley and take a look out over Dublin, numbers here for Livermore were also close to that 69 in Livermore, 68 in Concord, Santa Rosa was 69. So with that 79 for San Jose being the top, I want to use Concord as the example for not only how far above average these numbers are, because the average daytime high for Concord right now would be in the upper 50s, and that's pretty much most of the Bay Area. So I'm, Concord's just going to be used as my example here to show you not only how far above average we are, but how these numbers are going to come down a little over the next five days. It was 68 for Concord today. Tomorrow it's 66. I doubt you're going to notice tomorrow is any different from today. You get two beautifully wonderful weekend days. And then by Monday, maybe you'll notice, a little cooler, we'll probably pull in a few more high clouds going into Monday, and then you'll see the temperatures kind of level out there. And we'll stay in that, you know, three to four degree above average range. All right, let's look at tomorrow's daytime highs for everybody. South Bay, a lot of upper 60s here, 67 for Santa Clara. Uh, we'll go up to 64 for Redwood City. We'll see the temperatures in the East Bay in that same range, anywhere from the low, mid and upper 60s here. 67 for Danville, 68 in Dublin will be some of our warmer locations. East Bay, there's a 70 for Richmond. We'll go to 63 for San Leandro, 66 in Novato, and as we get up into the North Bay, there's another 70. Close Overdale. And uh, a big picture perspective on when we might be able to hope for some rain, and that's really what this is at this point, because there are no significant storms coming our way in the long-range forecast. You can see the first one here is going to kind of fall apart. That would be for Monday, and it doesn't really get here. It really falls apart before it gets here. So we've got to look out to the next one, which, fingers crossed, gets here for Friday. And then that starts what could be a more progressive pattern with a couple of opportunities for weak rainmakers. So you can see going into the seven-day forecast there, we've got a chance the rain shows up Friday and Saturday, and then we'll see what happens after that. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves.